While Tuesday's statewide results for a Democratic ticket may have surprised political pundits, voters' choices in Lexington, Buena Vista, and Rockbridge County came as no surprise. Lexington traditionally votes for Democrats as much as the county and Buena Vista vote for Republicans, and Tuesday night was no different. 66% of Lexington voters cast their ballots for Northam, while 61% of Rockbridge County voters and 66% Buena Vista residents supported the Republican candidate Ed Gillespie. Statewide, Northam won 53.89% to Gillespie's 44.99, a significantly greater margin than the 5.3 points that Democrat Hillary Clinton took over President Trump in last year's tight race. Voter Ron Patrick says he is thrilled about the strong blue representation in the State House. What I was hoping for that um, this would send a big message to Trump and the Republicans that they've got to um, change their ways. In his victory speech, Northam, a career pediatrician, made promises to reach across the aisle and, quote, close the wounds that divide Virginia. I want to let you know that in Virginia, it's going to take a doctor to heal our differences, to, to bring unity to our people. And I'm here to let you know that the doctor is in. Lexington voted blue up and down the ticket, with 64% of the vote going for Lieutenant Governor-elect Justin Fairfax and 65% for Attorney General Mark Herring. All three top elected Democrats pointed to President Donald Trump in their election night speeches, saying that the Democratic streak proved support for the anti-Trump movement. Meanwhile, Gillespie supporter Jean Robinson says she was disappointed to hear of Tuesday's results, mostly because she did not like Northam's position on Confederate monuments. Northam has said monuments should be taken down, but the decision ultimately rests with localities. But that was one thing. Uh, tearing down statues is not going to change our history. All eyes will be on the new Democratic leaders in the upcoming months. For the Rockford Report, I'm Faith Pena.